What's up, Jones Bones? It is your girl, United Lee Random. And today we are going to be talking about how I used to work at Kroger's. Okay. Before we get into that, let's pause for a moment. Now, I read the meme where it talked about how, you know, black people love to put S's on things. So I want to ask you guys, the people, do you guys put S on Kroger's? Or is the S silent and you just say Kroger? Because I don't know, but it feels a little dirty when I just say Kroger. I'm just saying. It was at this moment that he knew. He so now that we got that out of the way let's talk a little bit about my second job now Kroger's was not my first job my first job was actually City Cafe Diner I worked that right before I think I graduated I was trying to go to college it was around the time that me and Stuart dated for the first time and I remember that job so clearly because your girl was working overtime not getting paid for overtime and a lot of the times my check was coming up late and also like we had a theory that the boss was a part of one of the mafias I'm not sure what mafia but like he always had his family come into the job and you know he treated them extra special they, they cook full fish with the face still on it as long as I got my paycheck and honestly it was as long as I got my paycheck I really didn't care as long as I got my paycheck and it was straight you feel me but at Kroger's, that was a whole nother ball game, a ballpark, if you will, okay? So when I was working at Kroger's, I learned a lot about other people's business. So I was one of those cashiers that everybody wanted to tell me everything about their life, which I honestly don't have a problem with. I mean, it kind of reminds me now of what I do when I do my pick a card readings and how I talk to people and how I want to do more in the tarot world because honestly, people have always come to me for some type of counseling throughout my life. I mean, like, I remember in middle school, people were telling me deep things about their life and I was just like, Okay, like I was just the person that people tell or the person that people vent to honestly and back then I didn't really vent to much people so that's probably why we have a YouTube channel right now where I'm just venting all over the place to you guys. I don't know like it's just like oh girl you foaming at the mouth. <laughs> so I was working at Kroger people were telling me about their business and I learned a lot a lot about the world. At Kroger this was the first time that I was away from my family so the paycheck that I wasn't I was making what little of it I was making was going directly into my pockets okay. Oh goodness I was young I was a baby at Kroger and this is the whole reason why we're having this conversation right now. At Kroger I almost got fired okay I've never really gotten fired from any job I got fired from working with the triplets but like that's a story for another day but I got I've never really gotten fired from a job except Kroger and it was really really close I pretty much fired myself after a while and this is how it went one day I was working at Kroger la da dee la da da la da do and I was scanning things out and we had a very hectic day it was early in the morning and a guy comes in now this guy comes in with a hundred dollar bill and asks for change I tell him hey you know we not we not really um we're really busy like you can take your change and ask for over there and they were like no I'm already in this line hurry up hurry up and they were rushing me right there was a woman behind them they kept rushing me this is one of those red flags that I recognize now that I did not recognize then but you know giving your cashier a hundred bucks and then rushing them and then telling them how you want them to count out the money at that point I was just really young like I'm just like oh, okay and trusting in the world and I guess it never dawned on me that this could be a scam but it turns out it was a scam so while I'm counting out the money and they're rushing me and they do it during rush hour he's picking up the money and like it, it sounds so silly but I swear other people have had to gotten rift in this way you know you see them like the videos online where they're like uh, let me trick this person into giving me more money it was pretty much that he was a con man, okay? 
But I never realized I took my till in. We didn't count our own tills. And the next day I came into work, bada boom, bada bang. When I came into work the next day, I immediately was meted by two of my managers. Aaliyah, what's the matter? And I was like, like, what do you mean? Your till came in short. And I was like, it came in short? Like, I can only remember, like, one person, like, really rushing me. I don't remember what made, like, what kind of mistake I made. Like, well, I guess if it came in short, you can go ahead and take it out of my paycheck. I was really, I was really innocent. Just go ahead and take it out of my paycheck. They were like, oh, no, you don't understand. Your till was $500 short. I still don't know to this day. Huh. How? How did it come up $500 short? But it was $500 or so short. Now, I immediately started crying. You guys, I'm not going to lie. I was like, gosh, I'm about to go to jail. I'm about to go to jail. I started sobbing. And I'm standing in front of one of the managers. And he was like the only black guy there. And I guess he saw the sincerity in my tears. Because honestly, they had thought that it was an inside job. I'm not about that life. I will never be about that life. But I can see how it would seem that I was about that life. He's trying to pat me on the shoulder. Like, it's okay. We know that this isn't you. We pulled the cameras. Who do you think it was? And I was like, it's only one person that stands out. It was a big black man and a lady with baby formula. And they were rushing me. But the lady with baby formula didn't even buy her stuff because she was mad because I took so long. I don't understand it's just, it was all a divergent tactic. So while she was distracting me by rushing me, he was reaching around and picking stuff out of my till. I still to this day feel very dumb about this. I just can't. But I don't feel as dumb as what I think Kroger is by continuing to have me work with Kroger. Now, at first they were like, you know, we're not so sure if you can continue to work here. And I was like, I agree, because that's scary. That is super scary and super sketchy. I don't want money to come out of my till again. I don't want to look like I'm out here stealing from Kroger. You know, I'm not trying. The most I did was scan coupons when I wasn't really supposed to scan the coupons to give them a little extra, you know, give them a little extra 50 cents off of an item. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the most I've ever done to steal from a corporation. Like, I'm a good girl. I really am. <laughs> so... Here's the thing, I had to go through all of these channels to try to get a job back that I didn't even want. I mean, once I found out that I made cost the company $500 and they were looking at me like I was a thief, I was like, I didn't do it. I don't know, but I don't want to be here anymore. Like it doesn't. And I guess the reason that the manager kept pushing for me to continue to work, because if I just dropped the job after money came missing out of my till, you know, it's a little suspicious. Maybe you did have something to do with it. I wasn't thinking about that. I was thinking, oh my gosh, they're going to think that I'm a liar and they're going to think that I stole this and I got to leave because I don't want to continue to work this job and like everybody's looking at me like I'm a thief. And you know, I'm the, like one of the only black girls here and I'm just like, I just can't. When they reinstated my job, I was like, I still don't want to work. I told the manager, like, look. I don't want to work the tills anymore. Put me out on the floor. I will stack things up. Please don't put me on the cash register. And you know exactly where they put me? They put me back on the cash register. Why? I just, I just, I just got gypped. Like, and I tried to console myself. The reason they put me back on the cash register is because they know that I wouldn't get gypped again. Okay? <laughs> because I learned my lesson, but I had no want or desire to ever be back on the cash register again from that point. I will never want to work at a cash register again for the rest of my life because of what happened, okay? So that already limits me to the jobs that I can do. Fast food, nope. I get flustered when people are yelling at me. Cash registers, nope. I get flustered when people are yelling at me. So anything like 
the only thing I'm good for at this point is talking to a camera and pretty much doing tarot card readings because wow, wow. So that is the story, the crazy story all over the place story about how I used to work at Kroger's and a little bit about how I used to work with a job with the mafia, but you know, you know, it is what it is. Money runs the world. So you got to have a job to make the money. But uh, don't leave me in charge of the money because uh, obviously I get scammed too many times. People keep seeing me as a victim. I'm about to start fighting. I'm starting to throw hands, okay? Not anymore. Not anymore. So. Thank you for watching another Monday video over Share on Mondays, whatever you want to call it. Thank you for being here with your girl, United Leave Random, and I will see you next time. Bye, baby. Bye-bye.